Like, I remember like, initially- 99.9% survival rate! Yeah, I remember hearing this so often, brought it up by conservatives, that there was some estimate in the beginning that, like, millions of people would die if we did nothing, and everybody, all the conservatives laughed at the numbers that it was impossible, and here we are, after doing all the things we did, like, two years later, and a million people still died. What do you mean nobody died? There were a lot of people that died from this million disease. A million people in two years? That's not bad at all. I think more people died because the hospitals closed from other diseases. If the hospitals were closed, it was because the- Not the hospitals, hospitals closed, the hospitals were all filled up from, like- People with the coronavirus, like, yeah. And that was with us doing all the protective measures we did. If we would have done nothing, it would have been like 10 times worse. Count nobody gives- Okay, you're saying yeah, no, I me? agree, nobody cares, but that's because Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, no, I see you. When you're streaming, you got Minecraft open, you got everything open, you, you really got this computer shit figured out. You got like 10 things going at the same time. You seem like a really fast-paced thinker. Um, or I just have ADHD, I don't know, man. I, I've been doing a lot ADHD's of it. ADHD's not real. No. You think ADHD's, we have that in common too. Every yeah. single day on the chat, I'd be screaming. I think that's why that's what makes uh, streamers entertaining is like ADHD. But I, I think it's just a quick thinking brain, right? I think ADHD is a little bit more. We have a little bit more of a sophisticated understanding of it than just like quick thinking brain. But what's um, your understanding of it? Um, damn, I don't know. How deep you want to get into it? Um, people that have problems regulating the executive functions of their brain, so like assigning like tasks or figuring out like what you want to be working with or thinking about a particular point in time. Seems like people with ADHD have a really big problem doing that. Although they can hyper focus on some things if they are interested in them, but otherwise they get distracted really easily or have a hard time focusing on things that otherwise people wouldn't have. Yeah, but is that really a mental disability or is that just a? Yeah, I see that as a superpower. Sure. Well, I mean, it, I mean, if you're lucky enough to be a fucking video game streamer that can play games and run around and talk to people, it's probably a superpower. But if you're trying to study for something in like an engineering degree, it's probably going to fuck you hardcore, right? So, yeah, like, what, what's, really what's either, like a superpower or not is probably going to depend on where you're at in life or like what situation you're in, right? Did you drop out of school too? Uh, out of college, yeah, because I was working too much. Oh shit! Working too much on what streaming and everything? <laughs> fuck no! It was a fucking uh, food service in a casino. Oh yeah. Yeah. And how did you like uh, being a service person? Uh, it was fucking horrible. Dealing with people as a service worker is like the worst fucking thing in the world. People are disgusting, horrible creatures that are just, you never want to have to deal with them. You don't have to. What's your, your, I heard a couple things that we have also have in common. You said that you're in an open relationship. Yeah. Um, how, how does that work? Is it open on both ends or just open for you? Uh, open on both ends. We just fuck whoever we want to fuck. Nice. Well, how do you deal with the jealousy of that? Uh, I don't really feel jealousy. If I felt jealousy, I wouldn't be in an open relationship. Yeah, yeah. I had I had problems with that, and mm -hmm. then I ended up just saying like, okay, I can fuck other people, but you can't. How do you get a girl to agree with that? Um, I guess just a lot of explanation and teaching her that. Yeah, I told her that girls only want to be loyal to one guy, but guys can fuck a lot of things, and it doesn't really matter. Okay. I mean, that's definitely one perspective, but I think the vast majority of women would probably disagree with that. But I mean, hey, if you make they it work They do at you, first. You really think that girls want to fuck other people? Um, yeah. I think girls are pretty horny, but I think that they tend to only want to fuck people that they have more connections with. So like, whereas a guy will fuck anybody, a girl will fuck a guy a lot, but only after she kind of like knows him, trusts him, feels a little bit closer to him. Okay. And how, how red pill are you? What's your... Because I've, I've seen... Uh, before you ask this question, I've heard that you've changed your opinions. Like you probably started off as more liberal as we all do. And then when you start making money, then you kind of become more centrist. And maybe you're making the the switch to become more in the middle. Um, it's not that I'm, I so compared to like ultra progressives, I would say that I'm like pretty red pill. Like um, there's a lot of kind of facts of reality that people on the left don't like to acknowledge when it comes to dating dynamics, sexual dynamics, whatever. Um, but like I wouldn't say that I'm like red pilled, red pilled, because it seems like a lot of people that are quote unquote red pilled have like really negative or toxic views of women, or have really bad ideas of what it means to be masculine, uh, and then yeah. like really toxic approaches to like sexual relationships and stuff. So uh, yeah, I don't know whether or not I'm red pilled is probably going to depend on what side of the political aisle you're on or what we talk about. Then what's your your most controversial political opinion? You you debate people on a regular basis. What do you usually get the most flack for? I heard that you were defending um, Kyle Rittenhouse and saying that he was innocent. I, I agree. Like he was, there was acting in self-defense, like not a very likable guy, mm -hmm. but the truth is, if you look at the whole circumstances, he was innocent. Is that like something, is that the most controversial thing you ever said? <laughs> um, it's probably the one I got in the most trouble for. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe that's why you got banned off Twitch. Well, it was, but that's why I got unpartnered off of Twitch. Um, why I ultimately got banned off Twitch and... is because I didn't think that, I think it had to do with, uh, me saying that trans women probably shouldn't compete with cisgender women in sports. 
but I, I don't know what I got banned for 100%. I, I can't know that. It just said hate speech, so. You don't even, they didn't even tell you? That, that's why I'm saying my, my stream, they really want me to go to Twitch, but I'm like, I know I'm gonna get banned considering all the other people, people like you get banned. Yeah, I mean, like I'm thinking if I'm getting banned for transphobia, most people probably, if you if you venture into that realm, you're gonna get fucked pretty hard, but. I would consider red pill to be something bigger than just something about women, because if you look at the matrix, the idea of the red pill is seeing the truth of the world. Um, and so something I always talk about my stream is how like people have empathy in the wrong places and people focus on the wrong things because they think it's the right thing to say. Like when everybody was praying for Ukraine and put the Ukraine flag in their bio, I'm like, you guys are goofy. You're not going to stop World War III by donating to a GoFundMe that's fake. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's two parts to that. So like the red pill being the truth. I mean, like obviously everybody feels like they are perceiving and, and professing the truth, right? Everybody, if you talk to, like you can talk to two people that believe opposite things and both will be like, oh yeah, I believe the truth. Like everybody will say that. Oh yeah, I'm not biased. Well, meanwhile, they're like super partisan hacks. So, I mean, there's that. And then, I mean, I don't think there's ne necessarily anything wrong with like a show of solidarity. Like, um, what was the name of the Minecrafter guy that just died? Uh, Notch, I don't know. No. You're the Minecraft guy. Not Notch, fuck, what was, there was some huge guy, he died at like 23 of cancer, super sad. Technoblade, yeah. Um, like, I don't know if it matters if you tweet out like rip Technoblade, like he's dead and it's not like you're gonna bring him back. And I don't know if the family like necessarily cares about your random tweets, but like showing solidarity is a very human thing. We wanna feel connected to other people about issues that we feel um, connected to. So I, I don't think it's- Yeah, but we all like have this fake empathy on the internet now. And it's like you get demonized if you don't participate in all the fucking fake like, if you don't post a black square on Instagram, then everybody's on your ass calling you racist. It's like, am I really racist or did I just not post a black square on Instagram? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're, that is a thing, for sure. But I, I think on the other end of it, like, it's it's not necessarily the worst thing, right? Like, you can, like, like for some issues that historically don't get very much um, support, like, seeing other people that are willing to vocally support you can be a good feeling. But, I mean, I, I'll agree, too, that it goes pretty far sometimes where... Um, a lot of people will, you know, virtue signal about things they support and they don't know fucking anything about it. There's probably, yeah. uh, probably half the people with yellow and blue flags in their profile don't know where Ukraine is on a map. Um, like, it, yeah, I mean, it, it just, it is what it is. It's like the human condition, especially on the internet now where you're inundated with a t fuck ton of information and you're expected to have a position on literally every single fucking issue that is always yeah, going always, on constantly. You need to have a stance. On and everything. If you don't have a stance and you're part of the problem. Yeah. But then who are you usually debating with? I see that you're arguing on Twitter all day. You have a lot of like you argue with politicians. You, you're, you know, you're really like involved in big debates. What are you usually like? What are your strongest stances? Uh, I mean, I have strong stances on all sorts of things. I would say, unfortunately, as of recently, probably most of my debating is against people on the left. Uh, because they're the ones that kind of like go after me the hardest or they're the ones that can have the biggest, the biggest impact on me. Isn't that um, funny? Because then you start off as a liberal and you fathered Hasanabi. Yeah, and Vosh, but um, I, I mean, technically, um, Hasanabi came more from the um, uh, from the Young Turks. Like he had a he had a career and stuff before me, so it's not like he didn't exist at all. Um, but I mean, yeah. But I, I think online the thing is like conservatives don't really have any power online. Like I'm not gonna get canceled by a fucking no, you get banned. Conservative, you, you just yeah. get deleted if you even say something mildly conservative. You got banned on Twitch. Mm -hmm. So the um, so the the people that can do the most harm to me online are are gonna be people that are to the left of me. So that tends to be who I end up fighting with the most, unfortunately, because I probably agree with them politically on more things than like a conservative. So. Like what, abortion? Uh, uh, sure, that's one thing. Yeah, abortion could be a big one. Um, so you're, you like abortion? I mean, I wouldn't say I like abortion insofar as like, I don't like chemotherapy, but it's probably a, a good thing compared to the alternative, yeah. Uh -huh. What um are you anti-abortion? What's your you're also you also have philosophy in your bio. I'm curious about your your ideas of philosophy and someone even told me to reference uh do you know Brittany Simon? Yeah, I know her, yeah. What's uh what's your ideas on philosophy and the levels? I tried to talk about the levels in the chat and then I got kind of bored about it pretty quickly. It seems like it's just like astrology for people who are smart. Um I mean I mean, what do I think about philosophy? I mean, like, philosophy is a really broad question. No, 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 not not, um, not what do you think about philosophy? What do you think of the the levels? Oh, of the levels like that idea. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. that all sorts of people have like different ways of kind of organizing other people or how they want to view people in the world. Um, I think psychologically right now we use like the Big Five personality index. Some people like Myers Briggs. Um, Brittany likes to organize people into what she perceives as different levels of introspection. So I mean, like. And so far as she enjoys doing that, I think that's fine. I, I don't know. I don't have like I don't have strong feelings about it. I'm not. I'm probably never going to use a system like hers. But I'm not going to sit there and say that like it's the worst thing in the world and it's garbage or whatever. I just yeah, I don't have a strong opinion. You so you don't even seem like you have any strong opinions. I thought you were going to be way more of a, like have strong stances on shit, but you don't even seem like that. 
So what are you what are you debating about? And okay, who wait, are you, hold on. Like, First are, of all, I got a lot of strong opinions on everything. But when you just ask me a question like, what do you think about philosophy in this thing? Then no, I mean, no, no. I didn't I mean what do you think about philosophy <laughs> in general? But like, so no, no. Far, but I mean, yeah, it's I'm in terms of systems. Like, I'm I'm a pretty easygoing dude. Now, if you want to argue about something like related to like a policy position, so for instance, you brought no, up I don't abortion. Want to argue with, I don't I don't think that we have anything to argue about because oh, okay. on my, I, I don't think it's even worthwhile to have like any hard stances on anything because ultimately we can't change anything. We have no power we have no control over these issues so like if, if i had some stance on abortion i'm pro-choice i'm pro-life what the fuck does that change well i mean Nothing. it's going to change who you vote for for a president who puts in the Supreme voting Court doesn't justice. do anything you really think that voting matters yeah of course what do you mean how do you think people win elections where do you live uh right now in florida oh, miami right yeah yeah they're always gonna i mean that's a swing state but ultimately i, I live in new york like it's never gonna vote anything else else than you've got blue. there are and, down the, there are down ballot people you can vote for i mean like there I, it, you know the down ballot people not in fucking New York, <laughs> but I'm just saying. You know that, like, the down ballot people in Florida? Uh, not for this coming election cycle, no. But I haven't started following this election cycle yet. But um, I, I mean, like down ballot isn't going to be as important. You asked me about abortion in particular, and abortion is going to be a presidential vote. And I mean, some states are going to matter more than others, right? If you're in California, maybe your vote doesn't matter as much. But if you live in some of those swing states, uh, you know, if you're in like Arizona, Pennsylvania, I think Michigan, like all these states, like it's probably going to matter who you vote for, right? Because you. Yeah, you don't think that all that is just performative, and like, do you really believe in politicians? Um. Believe you think in politicians, politicians actually like, have do I think they're real or do I like no do you think that politicians actually have like a best interest do you think they actually care about stuff like abortion or are they all just saying stuff on tv so that they get more power I think they're saying and doing what they need to to get elected Obama. which is good that's what politicians should do you want exactly your... so then why do you even vote like well, if, because if, if you're you know voting for people because abortion is important to you then chances are they're going to do something to make abortion legal because that's what's going to get them reelected. So I think that they, they do things to get more power and more power to a politician is winning elections. And that's what you want them going after power for because winning elections means most people voted for them, right? Isn't that what you want a politician to go after? You don't want a politician that wants less power. What does that mean? They're just not doing anything in office because they don't care if they win re-election or not? So ultimately, I, I, I'm kind of nihilist. I guess that's a, that's a philosophical stance. Like it, there's just, I, I don't see any point in voting anymore. I don't see any point in investing any mental energy in that because I'm just one person. My vote has so little power and matter. Like the, the electoral college is what selects the politician besides the down ballot people. We can't, it's, it's all an illusion. Us thinking like having a stance on something like abortion is just to make us feel good and feel involved when ultimately it doesn't do anything. That's like saying that like going to the gym is a waste of time because I went once and I didn't get shredded. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like yeah, voting okay, so one if you time, vote every if you vote, if everybody votes in accordance with what they believe in, then yeah, outcomes are gonna change for sure. I mean, Trump winning that election right, but you could was go to the really, gym on really, your own. Trump winning that election you, was really important. Yeah, you can't vote on your own because we live in a country full of 320, 330 million people. But like exactly. Trump winning that election is why abortion is gone. Okay, but going to the gym actually affects your life. You could fix yourself and have immediate results. <laughs> Voting and hoping that 300 other million people have the same ideas as you is almost pointless. I mean, if you think that, then I guess you just don't have to vote. But then you're just like doubling the power of the guy next to you who disagrees with you who's voting otherwise. But I mean, like, yeah, I mean, this is how any large project works. It's always going to take like the buy-in of every single individual working to kind of make sure you're moving towards some outcome. But I mean, like, this is going to be the same of every large project you're involved in. Like your individual effort might not necessarily matter That's as much. That's why I'm but... not involved in any large, what, what large projects are you involved in besides voting? Um, large projects I'm involved in besides voting. I don't know. I was streaming. I kind of do my own thing, so I'm probably not involved in many at the moment. But other than like that's it. Stuff. The only the only large project you're involved in is politics. Sure, but I mean that's a pretty important project, right? Chat. What do you think? WRL on voting. I want to see if they agree. I I don't know <laughs> personally. I think that's a a mostly white idea to think that voting matters like people in the hood nobody even most people don't vote because it's like they understand or there's a there's a collective understanding that this system is just something that has nothing to do with our regular lives and if you think about it like how different was the world after trump got elected besides what you see on your twitter feed was it really that different than obama but what changed i mean in the united states a great deal changed right like, so for instance, if you if we look at Supreme Court stuff, you've got the Roe v. Wade stuff, you've got however many conservative decisions come out of that court. Um, if you look but at- But what changed in your life? It, go, besides Twitter- In my life, in nothing life? changed. I'm a rich white dude. Nothing matters to me, right? I would argue that- Same thing. Care, I, I'm, yeah, I'm I, would, I would argue that- dude. Sure, but ca not, change either. not caring about like shit like that, I think is an example of like, well, you're wealthy, so you're insulated from most of society's problems. But like, if you were one of those people that got, you know, PPP checks, or if you were one of the people that got, um, 
the second like coronavirus check, the $2,000 of stimulus. If you were the people that on the extended unemployment insurance, um, like these are people whose lives are all like measurably positively impacted. If you're gonna be one of the people that are working for a company that got a job under the- A thousand dollars? A couple K, they all got it back from the gas price. That shit was a nothing. Couple, a couple thousand dollars. They took dollars. away everybody's jobs. They took everybody's jobs away for two years. No, not everybody's jobs got taken away. That's why unemployment- Pretty much though. Not even, dude. People were making more money on unemployment insurance than they ever made working. That shit was wild. Arguably one of the reasons why we have inflation right now is because of how much money was paid out in UI. But and who then, got richer? Who got richer from something like unemployment? Jeff Bezos, Amazon stock tripled. Everybody just went to Amazon and spent it on things that didn't matter because they were inside and bored. That didn't actually help anybody. I mean, I, the people that were buying products from Amazon that were getting shit were helped, right? Am Amazon's stock price doesn't go up because nobody's being served by it, right? There's a reason why these companies have such massive prices because they serve like products to so many individuals, no? It's not like Bezos is making a ton of money out of nowhere, it's because people are buying shit and getting shit for their money, which is well, probably- what I'm saying. Like people thinking that the government did a good thing by giving us unemployment and fucking stimulus checks was, you know, pretty much just like, it's like a band-aid on a bigger problem. They kept everybody inside. They told you to take a shot. They, you had to keep your face covered for two years. I don't know, something like that didn't completely ruin your faith in a bigger system that didn't, op that opened up my eyes and a lot of people in my chat to just like, okay, this is all rigged, this is all a scam. We have no control. We're all just like operating in the system thinking that we have power and when we really don't. Well, what's the, what was the alternative? To just do nothing? I mean, I remember when conservatives- Well, make money to go, to go improve yourself. Go to the gym, like you said, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, like the issue is you've got a lot of people getting sick and dying from fucking disease, right? Like no, I remember I initially- 99.9% .9 survival rate. Yeah, I remember hearing this so often brought it up by conservatives. So there was some estimate in the beginning that like millions of people would die if we did nothing. And everybody, all the conservatives laughed at the number and said it was impossible. And here we are after doing all the things we did like two years later and a million people still died. What do you mean nobody died? There were a lot of people that died from million disease. people in two years, that's not bad at all. I think more people died because the hospitals closed from other diseases. If the hospitals were closed, it was because the, not the hospitals, hospitals closed, the hospitals were all filled up from like- People with the coronavirus, like, yeah. And that was with us doing all the protective measures we did. If we would have done nothing, it would have been like 10 times worse. You, like our our protective measures were so like, were, were so successful, even though we were still getting people sick from the coronavirus, we had like two flu cases for like a year, right? And we were still getting that sick from the coronavirus. If we do nothing, what? Then we have what, two million, three million, five million deaths? Like there's an argument to be made that the only reason Trump lost the election is because so many Republicans ended up dying from the coronavirus that they didn't have the votes nah. they needed to win elections. How many, people you know, how many people you know personally really died from the coronavirus? Uh, I had three extended family members, but I'm young. Most of my family didn't die from the coronavirus. Most people, I don't, like, I barely knew it. Even my grandma survived it. Do you think all the numbers were fake? Did you, oh, hold on, what do you, did you get the, did you get the jab? Three of them, yeah. Three? Yep, three. And the booster? Yeah, two and a booster. Two, the one Why? series, two and the booster. Why? Because I don't want to get why? fucking you're, sick for two fucking weeks with you're a flu. You're a young guy. You're a young guy. Yeah, but why would I get sick over getting a vaccine? Why would I ever want to do that? That's fine if you're fine, but I don't want to have the fucking flu for a week. Why the fuck would I want that? Why would I ever do that when I can just get a vaccine? It's such a no, this is like one of the most no brainer, easiest things in the fucking world for me. Like, yeah. would, I sur would I survive the corona? Probably, I think I just had it like two weeks ago. I think I had COVID, but like, one, why, yeah, why, would I, why did you still get it even if you got the fucking shot? Because I felt like shit for one day instead of seven. All right, chat, I, I, most, most people I know who got COVID who didn't get the shit, they were sick for like one, two days. What's the difference? Because being sick some, for one because day or three? one, because sometimes people die, which sucks. Some people had it for a long time, and then some people felt like shit for like a week. Why would I even risk it when I just get a shot? It's like the mo this is like the most. No it's fucking free. The government gives a shit up for free. Why don't I get a free fucking no, shot? No, it's not even free. You know, in New York City, in New York City, they they're still paying people a hundred fucking dollars to get it. That doesn't scare you that the government's paying people. They have billboards up. Like I posted on my story, they have like two black kids holding a basketball, saying, "These are the benefits." I'm glad I got the vaccine. Yeah, probably because in New York City, they didn't want another it's outbreak propaganda. where fucking everybody's getting killed. It's, yeah, it's propaganda to get vaccinated. You're not wasting your space okay, in hospitals. So then people getting sick of the coronavirus. Half the people in the hood mm -hmm. didn't get it. Probably, yeah. They didn't yeah. get the shot. Why is there no pandemic right now? Why? I mean, like, weren't those people disproportionately impacted by the pandemic? I don't know. No, might, maybe not right because, now, right now, why is there no pandemic? I don't know if there is right now. I don't know how many of those people are getting tested. I'm not sure. There might be a lot of them that are sick. I'm not sure. Because, I have no you idea. know why I don't know? Because they're not making, putting the numbers in the news anymore. The, because we're not talking look, about it. There's yeah, less fear mongering. It's probably, there's probably some exhaustion on the part of the public where we just don't want to hear about it anymore, even if there was, right? Like at some point, even if it's like a literal zombie virus, people are gonna be like, okay, like show me some different shit now, I'm getting bored. No, if it was a zombie virus, you would see it. You would see the hospitals filled up. You would hear about it. You would know people who are getting sick. 
You now that they stopped talking about it in the news, I don't hear a fucking word about we it. We don't hear and shit I'm about fine. anything because everyone we don't, else. In- we don't hear shit about it because we don't care about it. I made that statement. I remember a couple months ago on a stream where I was like, "Damn, dude! Like, it seems like we're pretty much past it. Like, hospitals are done with it. Like, that's cool." I got like twenty emails from people that were nurses and doctors saying shit like, "Bro, this is bullshit. Like, our hospital has been full for literally fucking two years. Like, everybody is still working crazy fucking overtime." This is like a few months ago. I still got emails about this. Just because you don't hear about something doesn't mean it's not happening. If it was a pandemic, I feel like you would hear about it. That the pandemic is like, at first when they were talking about it all the time, it was everyone was so scared we had to stay inside. For, we were quarantined. Sure, in the beginning Matt, it was your face. This was the most infectious virus to ever be on the planet, right? I think it's worth was being- it? Yeah, of course, what do you mean? More people got infected by this than any virus in human history. Chad, you don't feel like they just slapped on another name for the flu? It wasn't. The R naught of this was like 11. I think at one point, like one person was infecting like 10 to 12 people with this virus. It was insane. So you, but you have no explanation besides like people are just bored that there's no pandemic right now? Bro, people get bored of like something that could potentially cause World War III in like one week. Come on, we know this. The, what is the attention span of, you should know this as a streamer, right? That like, here's something that I know. If, if anybody's ever in any big streamer drama or YouTube drama, all you have to do is keep posting for three days and everybody forgets about it. That's true that's in the, the streamer point. world. That's, that's, that's true that's, in the, that's that's the, that's true in the news world too. They're gonna be the worst thing in the world. Point. No, no, I'm proving my, my point. point. They're, they're gonna be the worst news in the world going on. But like after like a week, people are fatigued. They don't wanna hear about that shit anymore. Okay, like, so fuck, why, it, different. Did, why did you think that Ukraine and World War Three was bullshit, but you don't think like something like the pandemic was bullshit? Why did I think you, wait, why did I think what was bullshit? Why do you think that believing in the pandemic is a good thing but like investing energy into Ukraine is stupid. I don't think What's investing. I think investing energy in Ukraine is good. I'm a big pro Ukraine guy. I support that shit. Support it how? Support it as in we should protect the sovereignty of other countries in Europe that are being invaded and having territory. How are you gonna do that? How are you? I I personally I don't personally. My government does. The part of exactly. The so how are you supporting it? With my tax dollars? What do you mean? What are you asking? Who I vote for? You said that you said who how, we should support Ukraine. I'm yeah. asking how you do that. I, as an individual American, I guess it's based on who you vote for. That's it. That that's how our system works. We have a representative democracy. So is we that really th- support? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, of course. The people that you vote for are going to determine the policies that are enacted right. by your country. That are going to determine how could, your country. We, there was no vote for Ukraine. Nobody. We didn't get a vote for anybody who's had a different opinion on Ukraine. And ultimately, if we did, Putin still wants to go to war. We don't. It doesn't make a difference. We don't vote for Ukraine in the same way that we don't have a direct democracy vote on every single issue that comes across the country. But we do vote for overarching ideologies when it comes time to dealing with other countries. So Trump, broadly speaking, was like an isolationist kind of guy. He didn't really want to mess with other countries, you know, even though he bombed Syria. But like Trump would say like, oh, I don't want to do this. And people would say Hillary Clinton is the red line. You know, she is more hawkish. Um, I think that when you're voting for somebody like Biden or voting for somebody like Trump, you're broadly in mind keeping track of like all of these different positions they have. Some are more important and at some points in time than others, but I mean, that's kind of how our system works. We can't vote for every single issue individually. This is, it wouldn't be feasible. So you can't vote on issues. So there's no point in investing any energy into these issues. No, you vote on people that represent your issue. You, for, that represent your and, interest. But you're also issues. saying that politicians just say things so that they get elected. So they're not even believing in the issues they're saying. They just say stuff. They and say, then, they do things. They say stuff and then do the thing that makes them the most money. They, no, they say things to get elected and then they do things to stay elected because they should be, because they're representing what should be their constituent interest. I want my politician to do things to keep getting elected so that I keep voting for them. That's the whole point. Name one good politician. One, like a wholly good politician? I don't know if name, I can name. Yes, name I don't know if I can name. I, I'm not interested in individual politicians. I'm interested in the policies that they pass, right? Those are the things that I'm interested in. So Biden pushing like the Build Back Better program, I think is a good policy. The infrastructure that we good? pass. Uh, I think that he's pushing good programs. I don't know if I would say he's like holistically a good politician. You don't think he's just a puppet from the New World Order and he's just like being fed pills and stuff like that and they're pushing him up the stairs? Like, Chad, how many even speeches have you heard from Biden? I haven't even seen him say a word. I he, He's just like a person, he's just a representative <laughs> of policy. Dra- drama between like two YouTubers can't stay private for more than like three weeks. There's no way there's a whole new world order of people that are all concocting shit behind the scenes and nobody's linked it, leaked anything. I don't believe that. I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's feasible. When nobody's leaked what? That nobody's like, we don't know anything about the new world order that like, I, I think that if there was a new world order behind the scenes, like operating things, I think we would have heard about it by now. I think somebody would have leaked something. You don't have... think something like Epstein's Island is enough proof of the New World Order? I don't think Epstein's Island proves a New World Order, no. That one old guy was a fucking pedophile? I don't think that proves a New World Order, no. 
you don't think COVID, something like that, the fact that they got everybody to believe in something and that 90%, even you, a young guy, took three shots in his arm because he was afraid of like a, a bad flu is an example of a new world order? I take shots for all sorts of shit that probably won't kill me. But you probably shouldn't. Why are you trusting the government that heavy to inject stuff into your body? I don't trust the government. Fuck the government. Yes, you do. No, you do trust I'm the trusting, government because I'm you took trusting, a shot from them. I'm tr I didn't take a shot from the government. I took a shot yes, that was you developed. Yes, they're the one pushing it. I, no, they didn't develop it, and they were not the ones doing the research for it. I trust the academic institutions and the hospitals and the governments across the entire world that have come together on conclusions related to vaccine technology. The government technology. wants you to get it. The go yes or no, yeah, the probably, government wants you to get it. But yes or no, would the government want you to get it if it genuinely helped the population? No. The yes. Does what do you mean? Wait. What do you mean? No. So a no, government would want its whole population to die. No. The government wants to control us as much as possible. That's so we stay slaves. Hold on. If it was the case that there was a good government and they wanted its population to survive, would they want you to get a vaccine? They don't care. Like they just no, want. Hold on. Come on. You got to answer the question. If there was a the government, if there was a government okay. with good people and they had and they had our best interests in mind and they really thought a shot would help you, would that government want you to get vaccinated? Right, but the okay. government is not good. The American government is not good. Why? How not? What, they how not? don't have our best interests in mind. Why not? You you trust people like Hillary Clinton? I don't trust people like Hillary Clinton. I trust the institutions that these people inhabit. What, what is, okay, so who do you trust in the government? I don't trust individuals in the government. We have institutions and checks and balances to keep these so individual what, players So what honest. institutions do you trust? I trust the institution of the federal government. I trust the institution of the FDA. Like I trust all of the independent academics and all of the independent universities and all of the I'm independent private academics. companies. Okay, so you're saying- No, no, wait, 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 no, it's all part of it. All of it is part of it, okay? If you're gonna try to, if you're gonna try to, if you're gonna, no, if you're gonna try to ask me like, would you trust Fauci on this one thing? Fuck no, I don't trust any individual. That's the whole reason why the American government is set the way that it is. There's a huge checks and balances on every single part of our government where everybody's incentivized to catch everybody Obama. else fucking up. So no, I don't trust one person in the government. I trust the entire institution and the institutions that hold each other accountable. That's the whole point. Like you don't think, that here's a question. Crazy to do you think, it's do you crazy think, to me that you said that you could trust the whole government, but you can't name me one politician that you think is good. That's so how institutions work. What is the one part of your car that makes it drive? Name the one part that makes it drive. You can't name yeah, it because it doesn't make any sense. There's like a whole bunch of different things that come together to make it so that but a vehicle the, can move across the, the road. Engine, so when you the engine isn't telling me take a shot. The, but the, the, the engine, engine is telling me what to do. The engine doesn't spin wheels on the ground, right? In order to make your car work, it's a whole different like assess. There's so many different systems in your car that keep it moving forward. And the government is the same thing. There's not one thing that powers it, right? It's a whole it's a whole conglomeration of different moving parts that all interact with each other. Yeah, but my car is not telling me what to do. I drive my car, my car doesn't drive me. That's fine, and you drive the government the by government, voting. <laughs> There's the just government, a lot of people driving the same car. No. The government here's, here's drives a, here's a, here's a question. But it takes one person to drive a car, mm -hmm. it takes the whole country, sure. like this illusion that everybody's on the same page okay, sure. to trust then the government. Le then let's look at where the other incentives are. Do you think that, um, do you think that Russia doesn't like the United States and China? Do you yeah. think they don't? Okay, if China and Russia don't like the United States, if all the vaccine was bullshit and the coronavirus is bullshit, why wouldn't they be out here saying like, oh, look, it's all fake. Guys, the American media is lying to you. Like they, they did that with the moon landing, right? But they're like, that's Dude, not they real. Control the, they control their citizens with the two. So all of these countries that are, do you understand how you're giving me a conspiracy where these people are like working together and not working together at like the same time? Like I can never win, right? You're always gonna have a reason to where, well, you know, everybody's gonna try to fuck over everybody else, but they also all work together at the same time. Like you think that Russia would work no, together with the United working. States? No, they're not There's probably a system of most powerful people, these oil money people, these old banks, these old families, the people who control the money control the government. Yeah, but even these people fight all the time too. Look at how much American oil producers fight like tooth and nail with fucking OPEC. Like, like even the oil people fight with each other. So I, I don't, this idea that there's like this conglomerate of people working behind the scenes in these smoky rooms. I, I just, I don't think you need those types of conspiracies to explain why companies and people do the things they do. And I think if there were these things happening, you'd have other people trying to call them out. Like if Pfizer was one of the big people, Pfizer and Moderna were like the, some of the people that were getting these vaccines out and they were fake. Don't you think other private companies would be out there screaming like, yo, these vaccines are bullshit. Yo, this stuff is not Censorship is so easy nowadays. They can censor. Well, yo, hold this on, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you said on. anything anti-vaccine, they, they deleted it. How you couldn't but, even say how, wait, anything against how could, it. First of all, you can't censor entire countries like Russia. And two, how do you censor other private corporations that have a lot of money? I thought we said money controlled the government. If these other corporations have tons of money, shouldn't they be able to just buy their way out of censorship? Or do you think there's another secret cabal that's not just ran by money and not just ran by countries, but is like the ultra secret, ultra, ultra powerful cabal? Like what are the, I don't know. It's a, it's a lot for me to buy into, I guess. I think you have a lot of faith in a system. And to be honest, like, I don't want to, 
I think it's a, it's a race thing. I think white people <laughs> believe in the government a lot more than other races because it's like the system has worked for you for centuries. And so it's like the belief in this system, it's good. But if you, when you take a step outside of that, you start to see like, oh, none of this is really for me. There's no way that this is good. There's no way that they care about me. It's fake empathy. Sure, I can understand people having those feelings, like especially if you're in certain minority communities. But like those problems are hard to fix, right? They're, they're not going to be simple problems. What problems? Any like problems related to minority communities, things related to crime. Crime is a really tough problem to combat. Um, getting good jobs to people who don't have the best of education, fixing broken families. There isn't going to be like a like, oh my God, we finally have like a president from the hood, and now he's going to give us in four years the the key solution to all of these problems. That's not even true. A lot of like things you, that ended up, up a, lot of, a, lot of, like, a lot of things that ended up hurting black communities came from black politicians. People talk about how Biden is evil for like the ninety three crime bill, and he gets mad. People get mad about like how they treat crack cocaine versus powder cocaine. Cocaine. The biggest drive for for like three strike laws and punishing crack cocaine came from black communities that thought that saw crack cocaine destroying their fucking neighborhoods. Like these are some of the people that push for the hardest. And it ended up that some of these like three strike laws and some of these criminal uh, prosecution things didn't actually end up helping black people at all. It fucked them over more. These are really complicated problems to fix. I don't think it's that easy. Okay, if you grew up in project housing and the water doesn't work and the AC doesn't work, why would you think that voting on a specific bill matters at all? or has any effect in your life when the place you grew up in doesn't even have proper AC I can because they put specific sure. people in those buildings. I, How I, could you have bigger faith in something like Biden and this, and like all of this is just like noise. Unless you're white. If you're white, then you're like, I, I yes, understand. the policy is good. Like, I can understand, but like, that, it's just sure. meaningless. Let's look at the flip side. So then let's look at the reality. You've got project housing, okay? Fuck voting, voting doesn't do anything. Who's the most likely person to say that? Minorities? Young people, poor people. Well, who's left voting? We've got rich old, people. old people, and rich people, white people, and rich people. If those are the only people voting in local elections, why the fuck do you think anybody's going to care about marijuana think, laws? Think, Wait, why the fuck do you think anybody? Why do you fuck? Why the fuck do you think anybody's going to fix the hood? Right? If the only people voting are Joe Schmo, who's seventy-five years old and golfs every Saturday Sunday, do you think that the hood is getting fixed? Of course not. They're, you're creating a self-perpetuating system where the only problems that are going to be addressed are the problems of old, rich, white dudes because they're the only ones that bother to show up and vote. And you better believe these motherfuckers vote. They vote religiously. I think. Yeah, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? I, I don't, I think eventually, wh who do you think did 9-11? Uh, probably Osama bin Laden and his compatriots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't believe in any conspiracy? Um, I mean, there are some conspiracies. MK Ultra what, happened. What conspiracies the Iran Contra in? deal happened. Like, I mean, I mean, there are like we've probably tried to coup or overthrow some governments that happened in Iran with the whole oil shit. Like, I mean, th like there are things that happen, of course. But I think that I here is what I don't like. Okay, this is what I don't like. I think that I get frustrated because I'm not saying you do this, but people will point to people like me and they'll go, oh my God, you're so dumb and lazy because you think the system fixes everything. I don't think my answer is dumb or lazy. My answer demands a lot of work. It requires you to be politically active. It requires you to continue to vote in people that are going to represent your interests. And it requires you to be informed on things. Oh, you think but, this but, is but, like a wait, good hobby on the, of on the, No, no. On the flip side, the other answer is, oh, nothing can be fixed because voting doesn't matter. Oh it wow! So what do you? <laughs> like so then, really... so then, what do you do? You do nothing to fix any nothing. of the problems. You so focus what, on yourself. Yeah, and then you, you blame, and yourself. then you blame. That's easy for us to say because we're multimillionaires and make money doing fucking YouTube videos, right? But focusing on yourself is hard if you've got a mom working two jobs and you've got to take care of your fucking siblings and you barely get out of high school because you don't have time to sleep at night, right? It's really hard to work on yourself depending on where you're at in life. I just I don't like the idea that people on the other because end it's of, hard doesn't mean people shouldn't do it. But not everybody can do it. That's not yes, a realistic. They can. No, they, no, that's, that's not that's a realistic stupid. expectation. Not everybody can work on themselves. Not everybody can pull themselves up by their bootstraps, and it's bullshit for middle class and that. upper middle I'm class people to do it. Work on yourself. Yeah, but who's saying, who are you telling to work on yourself? The dude that's coming from a broken family who's never seen his dad before, or a guy that, that can listen to a YouTube stream. Of course, all of our well, audiences can work on themselves. The reason I think that the reason that you have like all this knowledge about policies and everything is mm -hmm. because like you get to talk about it all day on stream. For sure. And that that's your stream thing, and then people watching it, they feel smart, they write down their policies and stuff like that. But that's in a way a privilege. Sure, yeah, I agree, 100%. I agree, yeah, of course. Same thing with Hassan. Hassan Abi lives in a fucking million dollar mansion mm -hmm. 
like like nice cars and shit like that. He's talking about socialism sure. and how we should tax people more. Sure. He gets rich talking about policies. Sure. And ultimately, if he wasn't talking about it, he was just voting every time. Blah, blah, blah. He's doing nothing. The only reason it sounds cool and it sounds like it's important is because that's his job. Sure, you can have a separate conversation on like, what is the responsibility of different content creators in terms of should they be doing more with their money? But that's a totally separate conversation from does voting do anything or should we advocate for people to vote? Yeah, specific policies and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't even see that as a, as a good enough reason to go tell me to, to go out and vote because you also don't believe that you also say you don't trust any politician. They're inconsistent, they follow the money, they're all power hungry. The policies they say now, it's all stuff they say to get elected. When you, okay, hold but on. If they're saying that's a get elected, then how should I trust them? Do you them? trust people that knew you, wow, you've got a big channel. You ever signed a contract before? Yeah. Why? You don't trust the guy that to you're get working money. with? Why? You don't trust, wait, money. you don't trust any of the people you work with? Why would you just sign a contract? Yeah, I work with them. It's for my for my personal benefit. I don't get anything out of voting. Yeah, but I'm Besides asking you. I'm asking you why the fuck would you sign a contract with somebody you're working with unless you don't trust them, right? That's that's the same type of thing where you're saying like you don't trust an individual politician. Of course, I don't trust an individual politician just like I don't trust an individual business. That's why you have a whole system of checks and balances set up it's to a make bad sure that comparison people have... because when I sign a contract, I get paid off of it. Sure. The only difference is you seem to have trouble understanding that like voting requires a buy-in from all of society. You can't have one vote that like determines like this is the one guy that gets to vote on the next politician. That's just not how it works. I but know, I mean so like my, my bigger point is that you having all this knowledge about everything, the most power you have is one vote in a country of over 300 million. That's yeah, that's how our project works. How else should it go? Like what, 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 how else could you possibly do it? Oh, so investing that much energy into like learning about all this stuff and everything it is really meaningless because your vote is so fucking useless. I mean, you can influence your friends and family around you. You can work at a local level. If you work at a local level, you've got a lot more political power than just your your one vote. You can go to your city council meetings. You can talk to people about a like local level. Yeah. City council. You really think that's a good use of people's time? That you is said, a better okay. use of people's time than you doing said, anything. For okay, you, I'm saying people should focus on themselves. And you're saying like, oh, you can't just tell people to pull themselves up by the bootstrap. You're saying that people should invest their time into local elections? First of all, local elections are more important than federal ones if you care about things like criminal justice, right? President can't do shit about your chief of police or your or anything related to that, right? That's all coming at the local level. If, you, if you've got problems with like uh, affordable housing being built, if you've got problems with how your state runs, like Medicare or Medicaid, like these are things that are gonna come down to your local state level or sometimes city level in terms of policing, like politicians. Yeah, of course that's important. But like, listen, I'm not gonna say you shouldn't work on yourself too. That's like even, Arguably, working on yourself is even more important than your political engagement. But it doesn't have to be one or the other, I think. I just think ultimately it's a huge waste of time. And I, I this is coming from experience. Like, I used to canvas and shit like that for Bernie Sanders. I used to knock on doors. I used to do those phone calls and shit like that. And I'm like, bro, I just wasted fucking days and hours going to campaigns and looking this shit up. Mm -hmm. And I don't really have an effect on it. Well, it's you just say making that because me feel good. You say that it's making me feel good. Like it's making me feel like I'm involved in something, but ultimately I have no power. You, they have all the fucking power. You only feel that way because Bernie Sanders lost, though, right? Imagine if you were instead of advocating for Bernie Sanders, what if you were one of the guys advocating for Trump? You probably feel like you got a whole bunch done. You probably feel like your time was really well invested because your guy won. Like I'm sorry, but like no, you don't get I to win that way because don't you think that the DNC rigged it for Hillary in 2016? Of course not. No, no. Hillary had like way more support than Bernie did at every part of that election cycle. All right, so you don't think the election's rigged? No, I don't think the election was rigged. And you think the president really like has a big effect. And if you get off the internet, you're going to know who the fucking comp troller of fucking Little River, Mississippi, like that's going to have an effect in your life? I think it's going to have a huge effect. These are the people that you see all day. The going to see. You're never going to see fucking Biden when when you're, however you vote for a presidential election. But like the people that you vote to um, like do your local policy can like have impacts literally on the people that you see patrolling down the street. Yeah, it's a huge, I think it's a huge deal. Yes. Or like you can find tales of, of people that city council projects where entire housing projects will get held up by one old fucking lady that decides to show up every single day. And she knows oh, the lobbyists. name of- What about well, lobbyists? Some people with more money ultimately have the most power. Like you um, could bribe politics. Money is what sways. Money is the actual power. Money has way more power than voting. Money- That's why I- that's the argument for focusing on yourself. If you have money, then like what? Stuff like Medicare, Medicaid, who you're voting for. If I have money, that doesn't matter. Sure. 
Who were the two richest people that ran in the Democratic primary last time? It was Steyer and Bloomberg. They, those guys were fucking billionaires and they got crushed. They got shit on. So like, does money matter? Yeah, it can help for sure, but it's not everything. Hillary Clinton outspent Trump and he crushed her in the, in, well, I wouldn't say crushed. He won in the electoral college against her in the election. So no, money isn't everything. It can help for sure. But like, of course, candidates that win are raising the most money. It's because they're the most popular fucking candidates. No shit, they're gonna raise more money. How long did you wear the mask? Because you got three shots. You must have been like, when did you take it off? Um, whenever the government said we no longer needed to wear it. So whatever the restrictions or regulations are. But okay, I do, so I do a do ton of traveling. you do or you don't so. trust the government? It's when you, that question is like- a, All right, but, but why did you stop wearing the mask when the government told you to? I wore it when the restrictions and the regulations were on for it. And then when they, were, they, when they went away, then I stopped wearing the mask. Why? Because that was what the regulation was. So I'm a citizen of the government. I have to do what the government says. It's part of being a citizen in a, in a, in a country. Like <laughs> You have to follow the regulations of your government. Oh, you think that's proof that you trust the government? If you're like, I'm a citizen and I believe what they say, I'll obey you, yes. Okay. Fauci, Biden. When you, when you use the term trust the government, right? Like I, I trust the government as a conglomeration of institutions. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. mean that trust I trust, the government. I don't trust an individual politician. Oh, good, I'm not saying that. I'm saying okay. ultimately you trust the government. I, I, okay, ultimately, yeah, I guess I would say I probably do like- You largely, trust the government? Yeah, I trust the government, yes. Okay, yeah, I, 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 in, in so far as it like, it performs its functions of the, as the government, yeah. And you think it's, it was fair that they took away most people's jobs, they shut down the economy, and they told people you cannot go outside, and you, they set all these lines up, they put little squares on the floor where you could stand, they cut off one chair in the airport, every other chair. That shit all made sense to you? When we were facing what turned out to be the largest pandemic in human history, yeah, I think it was reasonable. Okay, and if you believe in the academics and the health professionals, why was that government mandate the switching factor for you to take off your mask? Um, because I think the government largely probably followed the whatever the recommendations were from the health institutions. So the government has our best interests in mind. Um, not always, but sometimes when it comes to like in health that situation, related, when it came to health, the government stuff, has our health. <clears throat> the, the government cares about our health. Uh, yeah, ultimately. I think so. In that case, yeah. Okay. You don't think that's a a white belief? Um, it might be, but it's a right belief, so I don't really care. I don't okay. evaluate so my beliefs right based belief? on, I don't evaluate my beliefs based on which minority or majority community tends to believe in things, right? I'm not gonna say like, I believe this is good because white people or because black people think it. Like, it's gonna be, uh, I'll evaluate it based on what the no, policy is. No, like. I'm saying that maybe you're warped and maybe you believe this because you're white. Maybe that's why you trust in the government to that level. Okay, I, last I checked, black people can get sick from the coronavirus the same as white people can. So I, I don't know what difference that's supposed to make. Other races do not trust in the government and do not believe that they're right and they have the best interests like white people do. Is that supposed to mean I'm not supposed to trust in the government like they don't or what? How is that? No, I'm saying that I'm trying to get you to acknowledge that maybe you have a bias that you're not aware of. Maybe if I have a bias, faith, it has to be, you have to point out the bias. You can't just I'm say- I'm saying maybe your faith in government is not actually because the government's good. Maybe your faith in the government is because of what race you are. Yeah, but then you have to demonstrate where that's right or wrong. You can't just say because you're white, therefore I'm correct or incorrect. It doesn't work that way, right? No, I'm not saying you're incorrect. It's not about correct or inc incorrect. I'm just saying your level of belief in the government comes from a white place. Yeah, I guess probably to some extent, but I don't think that makes it right or wrong. You don't feel like a sheep for taking off your mask right when they told you to? You don't feel like a sheep for blindly listening to whatever Alex Jones, Tim Pool, or Jordan Peterson says just because it's the opposite of what the that? government you says? Think, you think I listen to any of those guys? No, but I'm saying that like, just because I wanna to listen to like an alternative media take that tells me the opposite of the government doesn't make you any less of a sheep than what the government says. I've done a ton of independent research on vaccines and the coronavirus, and I feel like largely what the government said was true. Like if some people think that's a sheep opinion, but that's fine, we can argue But they also censored every, all the articles you probably read were manipulated. They def they censored I don't think that more one than ever. Freedom of speech is dead, Destiny. Freedom of speech is fucking done. I don't think that- If you talk about COVID now, they put a COVID warning. I don't think that one government can censor all the speech across the world. And I think there's a lot of people that would be incentivized to expose the US government for lying about the coronavirus if they were. But I don't see Russia or China or other you private- You even said the word, if you even say the word vaccine, they, they took it down. China why could do it. Hide, why did they hide everything about Hunter Biden? I don't think they. I don't think they hit anything about Hunter Biden. I think that Twitter had a specific policy where you can't post hacked materials. Why? Why? If it was Trump's kid, they would have kept it up. You don't have any proof of that. There was like a few months earlier. There was like a you don't doxing. That. Hold on. 
a few months earlier, there were doxing lists posted of like police officers and those people got banned as well. If you wanna post incriminating pictures of people online that they don't consent to being posted, you're not allowed to do that. But people kept saying that they tried to censor off the, the story off Twitter. Plenty of stories were posted on Twitter talking about it. You just couldn't link directly to the hacked materials. That was so a, why did Trump get banned on social media? Um, it wasn't the Twitter policy because he was inciting violence on Twitter and that was their issue? Yeah, come on, it wasn't just Twitter, it was all social media. I don't know what Every I don't know what rules he broke on other social media. Why did well, Alex but Jones get banned on social media? Why did you get banned on Twitch? You didn't don't think Alex, the same shit. Didn't Alex, you don't think that you you don't think that you getting banned on Twitch is the same thing as Trump getting banned on social media? I don't think I got banned for the same reason. No, Alex Jones got banned on social media because he was didn't he lose a case about like Sandy Hook being fake and they have Look, rules against it. So that's probably why he got banned. Yeah. The reason you you said the reason you probably got banned off Twitch is because you said that Kyle Rittenhouse was innocent. No, that's why I lost. That's why I lost my partnership, and it wasn't because I said that. It was because I had a much. That's not crazy. I that a, doesn't I that doesn't my, strike alarms in your head. My quote was way spicier than that. Okay, that's the reason why you're I got defending different. them for banning you. I'm not defending them. I disagree with the policy, but like obviously the whole internet has taken a, a certain shift culturally in terms of the type of speech that they welcome. I'm not going to sit here and defend that. Also, by the way, I'm not going to say that like I that's think true. that I approve of the way that speech is moving on the internet. I think it's moving a really negative negative way, but that's disconnected and separate from the idea that the government is controlling. Uh, Do you believe that we still have freedom of speech? Um, I, kind of, I mean, more than in Europe, kind, but. Kind of means no, Destiny. If you have kind of freedom of speech, that's not free. Hold on, if you wanna like put a stop here and start another conversation on freedom of speech, that's fine. But this is a fundamentally separate topic than do we trust no, the government? The same thing. Over, it's You that's can't the same make thing. every topic the same thing because that's the most sensationalist and fun it, way it to do is, it. No, it is under the same thing because the government tells us we have freedom of speech. It's in the constitution and we do not. That's But that the problem right now of freedom of speech doesn't even come from the government. The problem comes from private companies. So that's the opposite problem. Right now, the issue with freedom of speech has to do with capitalism more so than it does with the government. Ultimately, Facebook and I, Facebook and Twitter and all these companies aren't government institutions. These things are institutions that are private companies. If anything, the government tried to stop that because members of government under Trump, when Trump you was don't the think president, it's all tied together. Stop, Why stop, does the government stop, stop, let me finish? Us? When Donald Trump and when Paul Ryan and when Jim, oh uh, God, Jim Jordan, I think, and others, what, what, what? When, what, who are you, what are you about to say? You're just, you're just listening to more policies. No, no, I'm saying that these were guys that tried to push for like Section 230 reforms on some of these private yeah. companies and were able to do it. Section so in that sense, you can't say like, wow, look at what the government did to us. Well, hold on. The government was actually trying to fight against some of the censorship that was coming from uh, corporate uh, entities like Facebook and Twitter. Like these things aren't government entities. These are corporate entities. And the government was fighting against them when it was under Trump. So no, well, why not. does the government get to spy on all your social media? Why does the government spy on your fucking phone if it's not connected? Um... I don't know what you mean by spying on your phone if it's not connected. But They're listening to everything you say and everything you do every second of the day. <clears throat> I don't know if the government has the computing power or the yes, storage for do, every single Destiny. thing. Yes, they do, Destiny. Yes, they do. Chad, no, that's, come on. You don't think they're spying on literally everybody at every second? That's a lot of computational power. I don't know if they got the ability to do that, Chief. If they want to, they can. They can, oh, they can look through your camera at any second. They're always listening. They have control over your phone. They can't and look you through your camera at any second. That's not true. When man. the police want to get you in trouble, they can look at your Instagram. They can look. They can your look Twitter. at your they public. Hold on. What do you mean when you say public posts like Instagram? Yeah, of course they can. No, they can look through your private messages. The problem is that you're getting all of the your. The police can on. see your Instagram Stop. DMs. You are getting all of your information secondhand. Okay. If you actually follow tech stories or network security stories, look at all of the fighting that the FBI did with fucking Apple begging them to let them unlock phones and apple said no fuck off and the fbi was like please give us a way to get into the phones and they couldn't do it right like you can look at the if you're sophisticated enough to do it you can look at the telemetry of any device you can see where all the incoming and outcoming signals are going you can track your phone and see who's like monitoring or, or what but like this idea that like the government has unlimited power or that they're somehow like 10 years ahead in technology doesn't make any sense the government doesn't have the money to do that government is broke as they're fuck. not 10 years ahead of technology but they 100 percent can spy on anybody at any time if they can get us the government can get a subpoena and then they can ask or demand private companies to comply with that subpoena and then depending on the levels of encryption they use they might be able to read certain private messages Sure, that's possible, but that's always been the case. You can get a subpoena to go through somebody's fucking mail. You can get a subpoena to go through somebody's house. You can get a subpoena to search somebody's car. Like that's always been the case. Do you think that like private law enforcement shouldn't have the ability to subpoena a company to look at messages? Can you answer that question? What was the question? The subpoena what? Let's say that we get a report that a guy is seducing a fucking 10 year olds on Facebook. Do you think that the FBI or the local police should be able to say, hey, Facebook, we've got a big case against this guy. We're gonna issue you a subpoena and say, you have to let us look at this guy's private messages to see if he's trying to fuck 10 year olds on Facebook. Do you think that the government should be able to do that? Or do you think that they shouldn't have the ability to do those types of investigations? 
It's not whether they should or should. I don't. I don't believe in should or shouldn't. Well, they we got it. Hold on to. That's great for they you. They will if they want to. No, they will if we they have want to. You got to. We need to answer that question because if they shouldn't be able to, then fine, I agree with you. They shouldn't be able to ever subpoena or look at anything. That's it. You thinking you like having like oh the government should do this or should do that. It doesn't matter because they will if they want to. Us having a debate about it makes no difference. Okay. They will do what they want to do. I mean, us having a debate about it won't make a difference, but like how the people collectively vote are going to determine how those programs play out. Voting right? is so pointless, yo. It's so, in New York, it's 90% Democratic every, and like this is one of the in most populated states. It's the most populated state here, right? Then York? vote in your local elections. Vote in your city council. Nobody gives. Okay, you're saying yeah, no. That to I me? agree. Nobody cares, but that's because nobody everybody, gives a fuck. Yeah, because people are obsessed with the online, like federal level shit. No, because ultimately, what matters most <laughs> is we need money. If we spend time wasting on who's the the policy? Oh, they're gonna put three more cents on the gas. You're wasting your life. I, we need money. I, you're not gonna vote to get more money. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're looking for at that point. Like, what else do you we, vote on? What we, policies else do you vote you on? You vote on important social issues like Supreme Court justices. You might vote on international relationships on whether or not we fund NATO or not. We might vote on like I, like the size of the military. We might vote on what type of like welfare programs. The size of the military. Destiny, they're, they're gonna do what they want regardless. You think they trust us to make decisions for the better of their country? They pick who they want. They pick the laws who they want. They sign it away. Like, did we get a vote on abortion? The Supreme Court did. What the, we we have no decision over that. We you literally vote for the guy that's that nominates people to the Supreme Court. What do you mean, bro? There's probably three people in this chat who knows who ran for Supreme Court. It's it no no. When you vote for the president, the president is the one that picks Supreme Court people, right? If you exactly. vote for if you vote for a liberal oh. president. Then you're probably and going. You're also to saying, and you're also saying that when you get elected, you just say things to get elected, right? So they might say this stuff like that, but oh, they're going to pick the people in Supreme Court who give them more money, who they have at the fucking lake the house parties, who's flying out to the private island touching kids, who's blackmailing who. That's who they pick to go in the Supreme Court, not any policy or any. I'm going to do this the and help people out that this. Are, the people that are nominated to the Supreme Court usually have huge histories working in the judicial system, and they're usually not rich people that are donating tons of money to get those Supreme Court nominations. And even if they were, there's a good thing. We don't have to trust the president about it. The, the Senate has to confirm who the Supreme Court pick is. So there's a whole other branch of government. Yeah, so, involved okay, in you're saying there's 10 people who pick someone who decides on a law. Doesn't that sound so it's fucking not, nonsensical to you? It's that not, there's 10 different fucking people picking? It's not, your vote doesn't do anything. It's not, I think you just, I think you have a fundamental No, what did you just say? You said, okay, the No, no, hold on. You Senate, have a fundamental understanding of how some parts of government work. Okay, that's what I'm saying right now. Yeah, no, you know more about government than me. So like, yeah, you're smart, but like, okay, how does the Supreme Court get picked? You vote for a guy, and then he picks guys, and then he picks some other guys. That's no power, Destiny. Voting is pointless. So you think that unless we have a, de a direct democracy where we directly vote on every single policy, then representative democracy. That's a democracy, not yes. Okay. I, that's just that's just not true. But I don't know. What, like, why don't do you they think, let us do, do that? You think it's why feasible? can we all vote they, on they, when weed gets legal? Why do we let those fucking white people in charge pick when weed's legal? Because we don't have the time as citizens to go to the poll and vote on every single thing. The why government don't they does. just make a voting app? Why don't? Why is it they're not a just voting an app? app? Yes, because because, because vote, then yes. all the people that accuse our election system of being rigged are going to be twenty times more likely to accuse it of being rigged. If we're all voting on a fucking okay. app. These people don't even trust their iPhones not to be tapped by the you FBI. Trust mail you, think ballots? Gonna, you think they're going to be? Tr yeah, I trust. I trust a paper ballot more than I do. A fucking phone app. Yeah, of More course. More than technology in 2022, mailing in ballots is a better way to accurately get everybody to if vote. You wanna change and one, your phone? If you want to change one million votes in a database, that might be a single MySQL command to do it. If you want to change a million really paper ballots, if you want to change a million paper ballots, you know how many different steps of government you got to fuck with? How many different people you got to rope in to change their vote? How many people you, you have, have to have online banking. And your whole identity is on your phone. You have online banking, your profile. It would be so easy to vote online. So easy. They don't do it's, it because they don't care about our votes because it's meaningless. You, how do you trust technology so much that you would vote for it? But then in the but in the previous breath, you were telling me that the FBI you and the trusted police- trusted enough you have a banking app on your phone. Banking app. Everybody that's has a, a banking app on your phone. Banking, that's your whole money. That's your life. Banking is- that's Your life is on your phone. Some things are easier to do on phones than others. Banks are easier to handle on phones than fucking voting. It's a fundamentally they have different- Amber alert. Everybody gets an Amber alert. It's a alert fundamentally different type of thing. Voting versus like apps for banks. 
So we're never going to be able to vote on our phones? Never. That should, that should have been a thing since 2016. That's never going to be a What's thing. What's the reason? What's the reason? For the reason I just told you. A single person could change a command in a database and flip 10,000 votes. It's really hard. And you hard. could also burn a bunch of mail-in ballots like what happened in the last election. First of all, that didn't happen. But also listen to what you just said. How? What do you think is easier? Changing a million votes in a database or burning a million ballots? A million paper ballots that you've got to get a hold of. How many different people need to be involved in that versus one guy fucking with a database? One engineer, one data engineer. Uh, uh. I mean, they're already spying on every person's phone. I feel like it's not that hard. I feel like it's not that hard to see. It should be that. It, sh it should be us voting. If there was real democracy, it'd be like, hey, do you want weed to be legal? Yes or no, every citizen. Every citizen gives their opinion and it changes. Okay. If we had real democracy, they would ask everybody, should we be able to kill babies? Yes or no? And then everyone decides. Instead, it's a bunch of fucking white people in a room that nobody knows and they pick for us. You run like a YouTube channel where you talk about things, right? Yeah. Why? What's the point? If you think that nobody can it's change entertainment, anything, entertainment, that's it. All of your advice is just entertainment. You don't care if people actually follow it or listen to it or not. That's at the end of the day. And really? also I tell, I stick to truth. Hold I try on. to wait, get wait, 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 hold on, hold on. With my videos. I don't believe you. I don't think you believe yeah, yourself when you say that. When you say it's just entertainment, when you speak, you want people to listen to you, right? You want, right, but people don't listen unless it's funny or truthful or loud or entertaining. People don't want to listen. To sure. And that could be the same with loud. politics as well. But when you speak at the end of the day, you are exercising, whether you like to think or not, you're exercising con some kind of political power. You say things and whether you like it or not, people are listening to you. We know people listen to us because companies pay us a fuck ton of money to advertise. Their I don't products. want any power. I don't want you power already have power. People. You have power right now. But I don't, I don't try to control people's lives. You do. I can talk to people. No, how? Every time control? you, every time you open your mouth to say something, you're trying to convince people that what you're saying is true. Otherwise, you would have said, you know what, Destiny? Fine, that's your opinion. I don't give a fuck. But you do. You care, and that's good. I'm glad you care. You should. Even if I disagree with you, it's a good thing that you care. But there are people that are listening everything to you right you say now. Everything you say is political. Yeah, everything you say is influencing how people think. Is influencing the way they view things. There are going to be some people that might listen to me. They're like, you know what, Destiny's right. I'm going to go fucking vote, and maybe that flips the local election. They're going to be people that listen to you and like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm not gonna vote. They don't waste their time doing it. Like we exercise power over people, whether we like to consider it or not. That's part of what we do. That's why we get paid money to do it, right? If people will buy shit because we, if people will buy shit because we tell them to, what is that if not power? Bro, people pay big money just to get audiences like we have. Like people love the type of attention we get. You can't pay for the type of engagement that we get with our fans. People, fucking celebrities will pay, 50, or people will pay fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars to bring a celebrity out for thirty minutes, and they'll get like two thousand fucking views, if that. Right? We we do this shit for free, and we get fuck tons of views. Like there are a lot of people that pay for the influence that we have. You know this earlier because you were talking about how politicians pay for influence. Lobbyists pay for influence to get in front of politicians. Politicians pay for What's commercials. Point? Point? My point is that you have power over people, whether you want to accept it or not. And as poor Uncle Ben, who's died 30 times now, said, great power comes great responsibility. You have to acknowledge when you say shit, people are going to listen to it, whether you like it or not. They're going to do shit, whether you like it or not. That's why you tell people to improve themselves. You don't just say that for entertainment. You say it because I hope because you believe in it. You want people to do it, right? Right, but politicians are trying to control you. You got three shots in your mm -hmm. arm and you're like, well, how old are you? You're in your 20s? You got three shots for something that's not gonna kill you. You took off your mask when they told you to. That's control. I don't control anybody. Nobody puts a mask on or not. I don't tell them what sure. to do with their I also body. wear my seatbelt because companies tell me to. And I go when the light turns green. I don't think every single time the government tells me to do something, it's a conspiracy. I think a lot of the times the government tells you something, it's because they probably want to keep most people happy and healthy because if they don't, people are going to fucking revolt and shit is going to get absurdly expensive as people start filling in hospitals and dying everywhere. Not every single thing the government tells us is a bad thing, right? There's also signs that tell you not to shit or piss in a pool. I'm not gonna go do it to be a rebel. You know, I pee in the pool. <laughs> well, you know what, I don't, so. I be peeing in the pool. Come on, you, you, you pee in the pool. Come Listen, on. sometimes I pee in the pool, okay? Yeah, like, all right. No one's watching. True. Yeah, I'm gonna let you get to it, it's nine o'clock. I'm gonna start my own stream. Good talking to you, okay. man. Yeah, thanks a lot, it was fun. Be careful, stay safe, have fun, okay? You too, man. All right, I love you, bye.